What is going on everybody? It is Last NASCAR Fan and welcome back to another Diecast review. And we're going to continue on the throwback side of Diecast from 2022. Uh, it's not going to be a truck Diecast though, it's going to be an Xfinity Diecast. And it's one that I'm pretty happy that um, Circle B was like, sure, we'll produce it. It's pretty cool. Um, the throwback itself is really cool. I really like how the throwback was designed. I like what driver they chose and everything else, even though the colors are, I think, a bit inverted, but I don't think they are. But um, we'll get to it right away. Um, it's a BJ McLeod Motorsports diecast, so this is their uh, second 164 produced ever. Right next to the Stefan, right next to the, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Uh, I think I might have just showed the diecast already, but the 2021 Stefan Parsons Dogecoin, which that's what we're going to be looking at today, is the 2022 Stefan Parsons Circle B Go SoCal um, Throwback 164 for BJ McLeod Motorsports. Really nice that Circle B decided to produce this one even though I was kind of sad that they weren't going to produce Norm Benning's 164 even though they didn't really give it time to pull and they kind of pulled the plug on the 164 right away and just said okay we're just going to do the 124 because they'll always do the 124 no matter what but the 164 they'll just pull and if it doesn't go if it's not going if it's not getting orders then um, no one's going to buy it which I was very upset when that happened I was Kind of went on a little rant, which kind of got a little out of hand, but we'll get to the car. We'll get to this. We'll get to the Stefan Parsons itself. Um, so Stefan ran this at the uh, the twenty twenty two uh spring Darlington race, uh, qualified thirty fifth and ended up finishing twentieth. So he got a top twenty out of that race. Uh, stayed out of trouble. Had a pretty decent race and yeah, finished the race in the top twenty. So that's a pretty good day for him and B J McLeod's team. Uh, the throwback is pretty much a Phil Parsons throwback, which is pretty cool. I like how they did the whole design and the font and everything. So you got uh, colors, white, red, blue, and black, uh, circle B, and go SoCal.com. That's pretty cool. Associates down here, usual ones, like there's the BJ McLeod Motorsports logo, Snoko. If this will ever, ARP Simpson, uh, Snoko. Um, other logos like NASCAR Salutes, Xfinity, and then there's the throwback logo. That's pretty cool. I like how they put the Chevy logo on the on the freaking um, pillar. That's pretty cool. No driver sponsor. Uh, SoCal logo on the side, and uh, the Circle B logo. I like how even Circle B even like did their they they literally like changed their whole like font. To fit with the throwback. I really like how they did that. And then you got SoCal, SoCal on the on the deck lid along with uh, Stefan Parsons. Um, uh, last name on there. And then on the TV panel you have the SoCal logo again. Along with the Camaro. And as well as you have your um, Goodyear tires that are just White Eagles. Which... I'm just going to say this. It's it's okay to have them white, but I, I prefer to have them yellow. Because there's just some schemes that were that were really good that had yellow tires. Um, But yeah, it's a pretty short diecast review, to be honest. It's a very simple car. I highly recommend picking this car up if you're a 2022 collector, Xfinity collector, BJ McLeod fan in general. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for rated videos. I'll see you in the next diecast review. Take care, everyone. Have a good one. Keep on collecting.